Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're continuing our video series designed to educate and inform the public, so please subscribe to our channel. Today I want to talk about the conduct of your ex as it relates to parenting time. A lot of times we talk about the conduct of, of the children, we talk about the conduct of the other attorney, we talk about the conduct of the court. Today I'm going to talk about your ex. You're not married to the ex, you never were, but you had a child. You had a child, and now you weren't spouses, but you are parents. And there's no question that he's the father because he's on the birth certificate. There was no question in your mind. So now we're dealing with a parenting time situation. We're sharing the parenting time. You give the child to dad. He doesn't want to give the child back. What do you do? What do you do? You can call the police if you want to. Eh, depending on what city you're in and what municipality is over there, they may or may not help you out. Or they may say something that perhaps you've heard of. They may say, this is a civil matter. You're going to have to talk to the judge about that. And that could easily come about. Because the police can come and the dad will say, well, wait a minute. We have an agreement. This is my time. Why should I give the child back? She's just mad because I have a girlfriend. And when the police start hearing this kind of, he said, she said, they're going to say, go, wait a minute. We, do, we deal with crime and punishment. I don't see crime, I don't see punishment. What I see here is a civil matter. I see here a family court matter. You go to the judge and work this out and expect that they might well say that. So what do you do? Well, if there's no parenting time schedule and if dad won't return the child, you must immediately contact the lawyer. And that lawyer will file a petition for full custody and for immediate return of the child. And what will happen is the court, it'll take time for the court to determine the issues of custody, parenting time, child support, blah, blah, blah. But the return of the child, that's an issue where if you address it immediately, the court will probably grant an order allowing you to get that child back and uh, saying that the police should cooperate in that regard, vesting them with the power to do that, getting a pickup order, if you will, to take that child back. So you can probably accomplish that. It is not a do-it-yourself project. It is not something that you can go downtown and cry at some clerk's office and they'll give you a form to check off boxes. That is not how this works. If you do it that way, odds are it won't work. And then the longer your child stays with the other parent, the more the court thinks, number one, it's okay. Number two, it's not so bad. And number three, it's not an emergency. And if the court were to deny the removal because you waited too long, now the kid's in school. Now the kid has friends. Now, you know, it's been a couple months since he took care of this. And now, you know, the kid is feeling comfortable at the other house. Now the court has to say, well, wait a minute. Is it in the best interest of the child to uproot him and put him back where he was before? Is that in his best interest? Or is this more about what mom thinks is in her best interest? The moment the court thinks that the parents are not acting in the best interest of the child, but they're acting in their own best interest, that's the moment you just lost your case. So you've got to react to these things. You've got to react to them quickly. You've got to react to them properly. And more likely than not, that's going to mean hiring an attorney to go and follow the appropriate motions. Now, if you have any questions about your particular case, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.